Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So in today's video, we're going to take on Suzette's true manifest fight as of update 2.11.2. Uh, and so at the beginning of this video, I just want to show you what the unupgraded moves were. And these are her manifest moves. So you can already see that they have been enhanced uh, one time. So you can see extra damage with poison and pain, mega poison with demonic thrust. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So being that uh, Suzette, of course, is a wind pierce unit, most of her damaging moves will be um, of those varieties. And so really, we want to counter that uh, with either fire zone or a weapon zone. So in this video, we are actually going to do two clears of the true manifest fight. Uh, one will be with the traditional fire setting um, team, and the other one will be in the slash team. And so uh, you can see we're starting off the lineup with obviously a uh, pretty powerful um, team, ASUN, Nakoko, Odo, and we also have our favorite uh, bot, which is Tool, and you'll see what he used, uh, he's used for shortly. So that being said, you do have to have Suzette on your team, and you start right away with three of them right off the bat. So, we're going to VC in Normal Style Hardy. Now, if you're wondering why we're using Normal Style Hardy, my friend actually said, hey, let's do something interesting with this fight, something a little bit different. Um, that we haven't seen before. And so uh, instead of using AS Hardy with his flash strike, we're going to use his traditional VC in which powers up fire zone for your team instead of using a, a, a fire zone Grasta. Now bear in mind that if you don't have shields up or power down abilities, you will get hit with that AoE right off the bat and it's going to kill you for the most part. With fire zone and a power down, we still took a fair bit of damage. Um, so, you know, in the AF, which we're doing on a two-turn AF, uh, we are really just using the Coco to heal up. We're doing a lot of stacking of buffs and debuffs to make sure we can survive after this. Because at each HP stopper, and um, Suzette does have two HP stoppers, it will do a counter with an AoE uh, wind attack. Now, if you're wondering why we are taking zero damage, that's one of the great things about Hardy. His um, five-star normal style spam move does increase wind resistance uh, up to, I believe, 60%, which is 20% and stackable a number of times. And in conjunction with things like power down, which you can see on the enemy, you also have uh, multiple shields. You can use, um, for example, Cat Daddy Guardian. I believe even uh, Yuan AS has that pre preemptive shielding, which is destructive defense. And um, all that, you can actually stack your defense beyond 100%, which case uh, wind physical attacks will do nil damage, which is what you saw there. Not only that, but we are using, uh, like I said, a powerful team, a maxed out 255 Aldo and uh, Yuan, uh, and with both of those hitting heavily and stacking enough buffs and debuffs, we were able to end it within only a couple of turns. Now note that if I did not activate an EF there, I wouldn't have been able to stack nearly enough wind resist debuffs. And so I did have to cheat a little bit and use a two turn EF to kind of stack all those um, wind resist stacks in conjunction with fire zone. Because remember, fire zone already reduces um, wind attacks by 50% in damage. But I did try a couple of different combinations here and um, configurations and you will die actually uh, quite easily if you don't have enough shielding and debuff. So be aware, this fight may look easy, but it did take some tinkering and uh, grass dust setting in order to survive the fight. Now, note that um, Aldo does have four grass dust slots. The top one, which has pain, is also uh, occasionally inflicting power down. That really does help you survive some of the hits. It is a little bit RNG dependent, but you know what? Um, I also have a backup one on Nokoko because Nokoko is not used for DPS in this case. She is used with the Lunar Gear to apply debuffs on the enemy so ASU can do more damage, as well as that additional um, power down Grasta. Tools carrying uh, Grasta for Yuan and also has the Falcon's Blessing, which allows him to act first and automatically switch in his heart, uh, sorry, normal style Hardy. And again, Hardy's there mainly for support and shielding. He really isn't there for DPS, and so I didn't really set him up with any special Grasta. 
Alright, so after winning the fight, you can clearly see that not only are you doing the Mega Poison and Pain, you are now ignoring target resistance, it lasts for 5 turns, and you do have a power down 30%, which is welcome on a Wind Pierce team. Not only that, Dragon Assault now does increased damage based on Poison and Pain, 3 times each for a maximum of 9 times damage, Wind Impacts of User plus 50%, stackable to 100% essentially, guaranteed crit. So, and... Keep in mind, you can now equip any weapon you want, and you'll still have the same benefits on your um, moves. So that is the true benefit of getting a true manifest. You are truly unlocked the full power of Waifu Suzette. Now, in our second uh, example here, we are going to be using a Dazzling Slash Stance Grasta. Uh, you do win that from the most recent Time Distortion Extreme uh, Stage 4 boss rush, and so some of you may not have access to that, but in this case, I am activating Slash Stone right off the bat in Ea, and then I'm trying to stack and play the piano and press multiple areas to kind of stack as many buffs and debuffs on the enemy before moving on. Now, if you're really skilled here, you can actually land four hits of Katana Swing for a kid and then get 10 uh, st power stacks, in which case you can do a full Z Steel for 10 stacks. In my case, I'm not as skilled. I only got 8 stacks in. However, I did squeeze in that Z Steel at the end to power int speed down on the enemy. I believe is 40% and buff our team by the same amount by 40%. After that, it's just a matter of blasting it out of the way. With enough power stacks, even Kid is doing a tremendous amount of damage. Now, we did take a fair bit of damage there, however, Aldo just ends it right there. So, the true difficulty of this fight is not nearly in the HP damage you have to deal. Note that I wasn't doing hundreds of millions, only tens of millions. So, the boss fight isn't difficult in terms of hitting HP stoppers. The boss fight is difficult in surviving those HP stoppers because it counters automatically uh, when you hit those two HP stoppers. And if you had troubles with things like AS Iska or AS Tuva's uh, Manifest Fight already, these are going to be a nightmare. Now that being said, the purpose of this video is really um, not to brag at all, of course, because I'm not really that good at this game, but mainly to share some of my ideas in um, creating team combos that hopefully some can fit some of your rosters, such that you can beat this difficult fight and unlock the true potential of Suzette. I will probably have a 5-star review of the upgraded version of the set coming out in the next few days as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.